Good afternoon learners and teachers from the Western Cape and welcome to this our final session of telematics for business studies in 2016. At least that is for the grade 12s. I trust that you had a good day and I want you to just to sit back, relax, take off your shoes and enjoy this session with us. Today I'm being joined by a good colleague and friend of mine, Paranas. Good afternoon and welcome to you. Good afternoon, Mr. Momberg. It's good to have you back again. Always good to be here. <laughs> Great. Learners, yes, today we're going to look at forms of ownership. And you should know that forms of ownership forms part of your main topic called business ventures. And so we are going to look at the different types of forms of ownership and the impact that the form of ownership has on a particular business. Now, all the content we're going to cover today is contained in this booklet. I wonder if we could just have an overhead shot of this booklet, this telematics booklet, Business Studies 2016. The content that we're going to cover today is all contained in this booklet, particularly if you turn to page 23, as a matter of fact, page 22, up until page number 28. So you do not have to take notes frank frantically um, trying to keep pace with what's on the slides. All the information on the slides were taken from the resource booklet. Now, what about those who don't have a copy of the booklets? Are they going to be required to write down everything on the PowerPoint slides? The answer is no. On the screen you see you can see my email address, ldmomberg at gmail.com ldmomberg at gmail.com if you send me an SMS or an email, I will certainly provide you with a copy of the resource booklet. On the same slide, you also see the Western Cape Education Department's portal web address. At the end of this week, this video presentation will be on YouTube and then we'll also put it on the portal of the Western Cape Education Depart Department. And you can certainly then access the whole presentation on there also. For us, that was a lot from my side. What are we going to cover today with the learners and the teachers? And by the way, wherever you're present, please let us know. And we will certainly acknowledge your presence. For us, what are we going to cover today? Well, certainly lots about forms of ownerships. We're going to be looking at the uh, characteristics, advantages, disadvantages and comparisons of forms of ownership, particularly uh, sole trader, partnership, closed corporation, cooperatives, private company and public companies. Right. So today is quite a mouthful. Absolutely, but can I just <laughs> add, that looks a lot like content that were covered in grade 10 and 11. Isn't that so? Yes, that's right. And so it would make perfect sense to not go in depth with certain of those topics today. Um, when we look particularly at the advantages and the disadvantages yeah. so of the forms of ownership. Um, However, when we look at the comparison between those different types of forms of ownership, I think the teachers should rather focus on that and let the learners go and study the characteristics, the advantages and disadvantages because that is recap work, eh? That's, that's right. And uh, today we're also going to test their knowledge and see how well they remember that yes. information. Okay, no, <laughs> and that's okay. going to be super exciting. Did you include it in the PowerPoint presentation? <laughs> certainly, certainly. Okay, great stuff. Certainly. So that's the first thing they should know. And what else should they know? Right. We are going to focus on um, information that is in the exam guidelines, also part of the lesson preparation. They need to critically evaluate the forms of ownership in terms of the following criteria, uh, capacity, taxation, management, capital, division of profits, and legislation. That's also a mouthful, Mr. Yeah, but it's important <laughs> that learners must know those criteria, mm, because mm. very often learners don't even know. Uh, we spoke earlier, and you said you've got the easy way for them to remember those criteria. Are we going to deal with that later on? We can, okay, certainly. Or, we, or we can do it now. It all depends, Mr. Mamba. No, no, what do you okay. think? Should we keep them waiting or let's, should we... Let's keep them in suspense. Let's keep them in suspense. 
Okay, so that's the second thing you should know. And the third thing you should know about forms of ownership for an ours is? They need to evaluate the impact of the different forms of ownership on the success or failure of a business. I think that's a mighty important one as well. Yeah, that word impact. Evaluate the, the impact. impact. Yeah, that word, um, they often ask it in the exams, eh? Yes. And learners should know that when they see that word impact, they then need to refer to what? The positives, the advantages or negatives, or the disadvantages. Okay, so in any situation, any question when they ask impact, Learners should also ref always refer to advantages or disadvantages. disadvantages. Okay, good. Absolutely. And the important part of that question for Anas is that they must discuss the success or the failure and not both. That's a very good one. I think that's a very good one. We're going to talk a lot about that okay. um, in today's session because we're all about how learners can gain the maximum points in the exam. Good. That's what it's about. Um, and, and we're going to help them uh, greatly with that today. Okay. With your Good. help. <laughs> but as I see that Kanya Maputa is tuned in, and we've also got Corbus Low tuned in. Let me just give you a reminder of the SMS number. The SMS number is 31498. 31498. I often go to schools and they tell me, but sir, we are watching and we can't get any SMSs through. Or you don't want to read our SMSs. Now, that's not true. Um, please, if we receive it, we will certainly acknowledge it. For us, uh, we also is? have another school here. Um, look, Wing, Senior Secondary School. Good. They also tune in and, and they're ready and they're excited. And we that's say great. welcome to them. <laughs> welcome. Let us stop. Let's see quickly. Um, how much do you remember of your grade 10 and 11 work? For us, are we going to do some baseline questions? Okay. Now, this question requires from the learners to tell us, and it's the learners, not the teachers, eh? Yes, the learners, the learners. Um, <laughs> which forms of ownership are we referring to when we say that the individual assumes all sorts of risks exposed to the business? Now, that word individual is already a clue, isn't it? That's a clue. That's a that, giveaway. That's a giveaway, eh? And that's what they should do in, in, in exams or any test. Um, look, for, look for clues. Look for look clues. Look for keywords. Yes, look mm. for keywords. I wonder, Faranas, if any of those learners can tell us which forms of ownership is described when we talk about the individual assuming all sorts oh, oh, of oh, we're risks. Getting, we're getting answers here. Yes. We're Have getting we an answers. Answer? We got three. Okay, from? Um, they're not saying which school is this. One is saying Soul Trader. Yes. Soul Trader, Soul Trader. Please acknowledge us. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was Tokle, uh, Tlok Wing, Senior Secondary. Tokle, okay. Yes, Agno yes, no, acknowledge we, them. We said we are going to acknowledge them. Okay, so th are their fingers were warmed up already. Eh? And then we have um, Rangeville. Okay. I, Th those same. answers came back super fast. So let's see quickly the next one. Oh, there's the answer, Soul Trader. Well, well done, well done. Aha, uh -huh. this one learners often get wrong. Now, because this is contained in the new Companies Act of 2008. Oh, they're typing already. Oh, they're typing already. <laughs> <laughs> An agreement between two or, or more, more people. people. Uh, what Ooh, we have a number of, of answers. There's a number of people typing, messages coming through. Yes. Um, Palmerton High. Let's see, what do they have there? Contract. No, that's not An agreement not between two or more people. They have as a contract, Remember, partnership we, agreement. Yeah, that one is correct, eh? Which school? And then we have from Bishop, also partnership from yes. Bishop. Well done, Bishop. Good. Let's see. For us, can we take the next one quickly? Yep. The next one. Okay, there is partnership. Aha. The, this, the name <laughs> must end with the suffix CC. Mm, let's see. The name of this form okay, of ownership. Okay, okay. They're typing. They're typing. While they are typing, they're Ports and John's. Hi. Uh, they say, okay, they could be, um, I think this is a, a delayed answer because it's a previous one. The name is in with a suffix CC. Who do we have here? Okay. Masikanise okay, also got a got, delayed answer. We got an answer also from um, Lok Weng Senior Secondary, Close Corporation. 
Close cooperation. Yes. yes. Let's see who else. Somebody else is also typing here. I've got to answer also close cooperation here as well. But for an ask, No you school name. Please insert the name of the school so we can see where you're from. But for an ask, can you see there's another clue in that statement? Yes. That abbreviation CC, eh? The abbreviation says it all. Okay, let's see Bikina. quickly. Ah, uh, there, Ports and Johns um, gave their answer, close cooperation. I just, I just love this Aha. response. There's so many responses here. I can't keep up. You can't keep there's, up. There's an Akina. Farnas, let me just um, <laughs> interrupt you for a second because there was an important question asked by uh, a learner from Marizal High School. And the question is, why is it that close corporations are no longer allowed? Now, hmm. learners, let me um, firstly commend the learners from Marizal High School mm -hmm. for asking that question because the best way to learn is if when you ask questions and so thank you very much for that question now the close corporations we've got the new companies act of 2008 and that new companies act prohibits the establishment of new close corporations existing ones can continue but you cannot establish a new one. However, if there is a dormant close cooperation, one that hasn't been used, that exists only in name, mm. then somebody can buy that and then can continue as a close cooperation. So your simple answer to your question is, the Companies Act of 2008 prohibits the establishment of new close cooperations. But thank you very much for that answer. But us, I think we can do another one or two. These forms of ownership are owned and democratically controlled by their members and not by outside investors. Now, learners don't often know this one. So I Let's think they're going to struggle. See. They're Let's going to see. struggle with this one. I promise you that. Let's see. Oh, now they're typing. They are typing. The answers are coming in? Okay, wait. Here it is. There's the first answer is from... It's too fast. Bishop Dumont. Yes. Private um, company. No. Um, okay. Let's um, let's not give the answer yet. Let's hear the other options. Private company. Looking. Let's see. They all have private company. They've all got private companies. All I think they should read their notes Pri more clearly. Palmerton also says a private company. Yes. It's another one, private company. Marazel also says private company. Yeah, I think the word democratically controlled by the members. I think that is the clue. The, the word members, yes. Yeah, and then the word members. That's the clue in that statement. Because okay, wait, wait, here's a different answer. Do we have one correct answer? We have a different answer. Um, Kwa Mont Law, senior secondary, says public company. Um, let, let's, let's see. Um, Maybe there's another answer. I see Moshlonto. Moshlonto. SSS also says public companies. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. There's another one. Cooperation. Uh, cooperation or cooperatives? No, they said cooperation. Okay. That's, that's rangeful. In, maybe it's a typing error. Yes, maybe it's a typing <laughs> error. Let's see quickly what's the answer. Yes, it's a cooperative. Uh, they were the closest. They were the, the closest. closest. No, you know, I think we should actually <laughs> give them a prize. Um, what can we give them? The, the learners from, what's the name of that school? Is it Rangeville? Rangeville. If the learners from Rangeville, I wonder if Dan, if you can have an overhead shot. Give me, um, send me their SMS numbers or an email. I've got here a set of core notes. Business environments, all the notes you need to know on business environments, the core notes, it's in here. Business roles, all the notes are in here. Business operations, all the notes are in here. And business ventures, all the notes are in here. I would like to give that notes to the learners of Rangeville. Please send me an uh, SMS or an email, and I will send you an electronic copy of all these notes. I think ah, that's a good prize for them. Eh? They acknowledged. They said thank you. Did they say thank, <laughs> thank you? Thank you. Great. Uh, there will be more opportunities for you to answer questions, and maybe we mm. can make um, some more learners happy. I, I, I think this is notes. the best gift, uh, you know, running up to the exams, uh, trials around the corner and all. Okay, let's see. The next one who gets this one right also gets another set. 
the company's name must end with the suffix PTY LTD. The company's name. Ah, there's the answer. There's half the answer. Eh? That, that company's name is half the answer. So we're just looking for another half. Let me just acknowledge the learners from New Orleans. Um, New Orleans, uh, welcome to you and to your teacher. Um, we've got quite a lot of learners responding here. Um, okay, this, this phone is buzzing uncontrollably. Is <laughs> I can't even go into anybody's, uh, you know, message. Yes. Um, private company all the way. Yes, okay. Is it everybody responding private company? Yeah, no, yeah, I got Kuseli. Um, okay. Some new schools that's also on. Which, which one was on. the last one who gave the right answer? I think we must give that school also the a copy. The last one that gave the right answer. Let's see, who is this? Cinderella Seal. Cinderella? Um, also Rangeville. Okay, also <laughs> Rangeville. Oh, Rangeville will, Rangeville will have their copy. They will have their copy. Okay, we will, we will bless somebody else also with a seat. Yeah. Obviously, the, the answer is a private company. Mm. Uh, which, they've, no, which they've all rightfully had, eh? Yeah, it's they're all right. Perfect. No, man, this one, no, no, this one is too easy. <laughs> I'm not, I, I cannot give this set away <laughs> for a question like this. This answer is, of course, a public company. Aha. Uh, people wanted to answer that. No, 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 no. That was too, <laughs> that was too easy. This one, this one. Ah, Aha. the name of the company will end with NPC. Yeah, no, that let's one see, was... Let's see, let's see, let's see. It was... Ah, buzzing, buzzing. It was introduced buzzing, by, by buzzing. the new companies. Okay. Let's see. Look, when... Look, when is still busy. Yeah, no, there's quite a few here responding. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, yeah, I have a non-profit company, but the person is, hasn't given a name. No, okay, we, we, we're going to accept um, the honesty of that person. And if you gave the answer non-profit company, let's check if it's right. I also have Ekili yeah, Senior Secondary School. Yes, so the one who gave the answer is non-profit companies, please send me an email and I will gladly send you an electronic copy of the core notes. For us, we had, a, we had a question here from another learner, and I, I think we need, to, we need to bless this learner also with a set of core notes. And this learner asks, um, what's the difference between tax evasion and tax avoidance? Now, tax evasion, and I want you to put the emphasis on E, because tax evasion is illegal. <laughs> okay. Have you got that? The emphasis should be on E. Tax E. Evasion is mm. illegal, and that simply means you're not declaring your income. You're earning money, but you're not telling SARS you're earning money. That's mm. tax evasion. Tax avoidance, it's a legal method of paying less tax. And so you use an accountant to work to claim money for expenses that you incur during the course of doing your work, and that reduces your taxable um, liability. And that we call tax avoidance. Perfect. I hope that cleared up the difference between the two. Right, though, for us. I think that uh, explanation was uh, nice and clear and concise to the point, just like we like it in business studies. And learners who will be using the core notes will also find that everything is just precise and to the point, very concise. Good, thank you. Yeah. Right, though, I think we need to um, get on to the. Okay, that one is a non profit company. We had that one. The business unit is not separate from the owner. I think that one we should know. That one is a sole trader. Um, members do not have shares, but interest expressed as a percentage. That one should be a closed corporation, eh? Mm -hmm. Yep. And so pe pe people are, I can see learners already asking, but why is he giving <laughs> the answers? We want to answer. <laughs> right, we've only got a limited number of minutes available, and so we need to run through this very quickly. Um, yeah, companies, this type of company, these type of companies are subject to fewer disclosure and transparency requirements. And the answer is a private company. For us now, that factors that contribute to the success or failure of a business. Capacity. 
taxation, management, capital, division of profits, legislation, and legislation. Mm. Learners, you must know those factors. By heart. By heart. And, mm. and firstly, you need to know what it means. What does capacity mean? What does it mean if we talk about taxation? And only once you know that, then you can work out how will the success or failure factors impact on a business. And so, Faranas, we are briefly going to run through all those three, uh, six criteria. Okay. And just a brief explanation of each one of them. Mr. Mombok, something very uh, interesting that we can do with that. I, I know you like the you like acronyms to help the learners who are, are visual, and um, so that they can recall this information. Yeah, I think we need yeah. to work at something. Let's work at something. Let's and before the end of the day, end of the session, <laughs> we'll come up with some kind of we'll an acronym. We'll come up with something there. I remember you like singing. I like singing. Mm, don't you both want to sing it to them? <laughs> No, like just teasing you, just teasing you. We, we don't want the learners to run out of the classroom, so they're now ready. Okay, so let's see quickly. The impact of a formal ownership on the success or failure of a business. Firstly, for us, capacity. How does capacity? Now, now remember, it is success or failure. If I look at that, the notes or the information on that slide. What we deliberately did was we included success factors and failure factors. Which one of those would be success and which one of those would be a failure? Let's see that first one for us. What is that one? The limited size of the sole trader means that it could struggle to keep costs down. Okay. Example, uh, is purchasing that, in bulk. So I think that would definitely be a, a failure. A failure factor. Yes. Now, remember I said it can either be a failure or a success. success. Mm. And I've referred particularly to that one. Now, I want to... I, I wonder if the learners can tell me. The second one. Yeah, let's it see. could let's struggle see. to let's complete see. with larger businesses in terms of capacity. Sole traders, because they are so, so small... They cannot compete with larger businesses in terms of infrastructure, in terms of expanding, mm. in terms of acquiring additional resources. Now, that fact, is that a failure or is that a success factor? I wonder who can tell me. I tried to put you off earlier by saying we've got both, but maybe both. They both refers to failures. Or maybe only one refers to failures. I don't know. So, who can tell me? Okay, they, they, they're very busy typing. Are they busy? They're busy <laughs> typing. Sinalco has also joined us and a number of other schools. It's quite a few. I see Natalie's also here. Leanne is also tuned in. Uh, Joe's Fortain is also tuned in. And then Murray High School. Murray High School. Um... I must say good afternoon to the teachers at Murray High School. That school is in George. And we yeah, say welcome, welcome to them. Welcome to them. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, I got some. What do they failure. say? Failure. A failure. A failure. Who said that? Okay, there's it's no name by that person. Let's try another one. Um, failure, who's that? Also no name. Okay, please just indicate, even if it's your initials. Okay, this from Kuseli, also failure. Also, yes, so I tried to put them off by saying that we've got both success and failure there, mm. but they didn't fall for that. Now, Linus, it's important that you understand. I think if you understand the concept of what constitutes failure and what constitutes success, success. You're, on the, you're on the right track. Let's see the next one. Now, remember, <coughs> you should refer to the criteria of capacity, Management, taxation, division of profits. So each one of those in terms of sole trader. Right, taxations. Now there we've got four bullets. Is it four? I hope each one yes, of them are visible. Four. Okay, Farnas, okay. do you want to run through it quickly? Right. One by one. And at the end of it, we would like the learners to tell us in that chronological order which ones refers to failures 
and which one will refer to success? success. First, uh, first piece point, taxes and tax paperwork can be a burden for the owner, a burden. Second piece point, the owner must be registered with SARS for tax purposes. Third one, the business does not pay tax. Fourth one, the owner will be taxed on the profits of the business in his or her personal capacity. I think this is a lovely range of mm. success and mm. failures, eh? Some of them are just not that point blank. You have to yes. think a little bit further. Absolutely, and, absolutely. And, and, and even think a little bit about um, liability. Yes. Um, yeah. So this I wonder, is going to be like, exciting. So in that chronological order, there are four bullets. Remember, you need to take out which of those bullets refers to the success failure in terms of taxation and which one will refer to the failure factors in terms of taxation. Right, we got some answers here. Have you got? Look, Wings is failure, 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 failure. failure. <laughs> <laughs> no, let no, let's, let's check another one. Um, okay, let, let me first acknowledge those, those answers and say the answer is incorrect. They are not all failures, eh? And then we have another one from Kuseli. He says, okay, I don't quite understand. One failure, three success. Ah. Four failure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many points Kusel is seeing yes. there. <laughs> okay. all, is, all you need to do is just say failure, success, failure, success. Mm -hmm. And we will be able to decipher which one you are referring to in terms of failure and success. Says are the answers coming through? Um, third bullet is success. Okay, third bullet is success, yes. And the first bullet? The others are all failure. Are they all other? All the others are failures. Okay. Um, what do you say? Okay. okay let's first one, it's a, it's a burden. The first one is a burden, so that's so a that, failure. So that's a failure. Second the one. Owner must be registered with SARS uh, for tax purposes. Right now, now, now that's the one. They must be registered for tax purposes. Yeah. That, that, that's more like a fact. Yeah, it's, it's more like a fact. Yes. More like a fact. Yes. Um, so it doesn't really affect the failure or the success of a business. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It doesn't um, affect it, yeah. I think it's just more... Um, the business does not pay tax. That would be a success factor. The business does not pay tax. Okay, so it can make a lot of profit and it doesn't pay any tax. Mm. The owner will be taxed on the profits of the business in his personal capacity. Again, that would be a success factor for the business. And, and, and but it, it could also be a failure because um, the owner will be taxed on the profits of the business in his or personal capacity. In his personal capacity. Yes, yes so, so if, if the uh, owner does not, you know, own up, then, then the uh, business will the be... The business can basically just go insolvent. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so you say that one could be it's interchangeable. Yep. Interchangeable. Okay, let's look at the next one. Management. <coughs> the owner has personal interest in the business. Ah, uh -huh, that that's one. a nice one. Yes, now, if you've got a vested interest in that business, then what happens? If you have a vested interest in that business, is that a failure factor or is it a success factor. Okay, coming through success. Success. Is it coming through? Yes, it's coming through success. Desmond says success. Inka Yeng. Kan Yeng High School also says success. I think if you have a personal interest in the business, it's definitely a success factor because you are going to ensure that your ducks are all in a row. Yes. Did they say that? Yep, they said that. Wow. Success, success, success. Lovely. I love this. Okay, let's go to the next one. <laughs> the next piece point. Are we moving we moving over? Yep, it's capital, the next one. The capital is only contributed by the owner. The capital ah. is only contributed by the owner. Success or failure? Okay, let's take the next one also. Limited, Limited capital, capital available. available. I think those two are, 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 are very linked, eh? They are linked, yeah. Limited capital available restricts the growth of the business 
and the number of skilled employees that can be hired. Mm. I think I think this is that's a nice clear cut one, eh? Yeah, but second you, one clears it out. If you look at all three, limited capital restricts how successful a business can be. There can only be it's one in. answer. Failure, failure, failure. Yes, says bishop. that's correct. Failure, <laughs> failure, failure. Was it, <laughs> it was that bishop? <laughs> that's bishop. I wonder if bishop a school or what, or is it a learner? Triple F yeah, says <laughs> triple <Rock> wing. <laughs> Okay, this for us the, the answers are coming in fast and furious. And we can't Raymond. keep up, but we would just like to acknowledge um, Zinzi and a friend Thabi, and also Babawa, also tuned in. And then Natalie, we acknowledge on her earlier. But oh, I think that's quite exciting, and I, th I like the way the learners reason to get to the answers, eh? And you know, you need critical thinking absolutely, in this subject. Absolutely, absolutely. You need critical thinking. And you must be able to apply and make amends to facts and change it so that it can suit whatever you are writing down. Absolutely. In the exam. I can't agree more. <laughs> Let, for us, let's look at division of profits. The profits all goes to the owner. Aha. Uh -huh. Is that a success or is that a failure? Mm -hmm. This motivates the owner to work hard and make sure the business is efficient. Is that success or is that a failure? <laughs> uh, I, I don't, I don't ask me. I've never been an owner of so, a So we're later. waiting. So we have a two in one. Right? And then the owner can decide to reinvest the profits in the business. Is that a success or is that a failure? If he can decide to reinvest the money. These factors could lead to the success of a business. Which of those factors could lead to a success of the business? All of them? One of them? Two of them? Oh, I see the phone buzzing. For a second, I thought it was my own cell phone going off. <laughs> <laughs> the phone is buzzing here. All Woo! right. Success, success, success and success and more success. Um, yes, I just got the answer now from Babawa, the previous one, failure, failure, failure. Well done, Babawa. From Azariel, senior secondary school. Success, success, success. That's what we want for you. Success, success, success. <laughs> I see Nathie Gonibi has also tuned in and we say welcome to them. And then, yeah, oh, they're from Masika Nisa. Masika Nisa, they say, oh, success, success, success. <laughs> well done. That was, that was brilliant. Okay, so that was a troll t soul trader. And generally, we can identify with soul traders. So I think that would be one of the easier ones. Soul traders. The soul yeah. traders. But if we go to, for example, a partnership. Mm-hmm. I think now it's not so easy anymore. Partners can be added to increase the capacity of the partnership. Okay, let me give you a clue there. It's 50-50. 50-50. It, yeah, it's 50-50. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, that's, a, that's the only clue I can give you. Um, that's the only clue I can give you, 50-50. Okay, here we have a number of answers. Are the answers coming through? For us, yeah, there are so many learners success, tuned in. Success, failure, um, success. Success is the first one. Success and then failure. And failure. Who's that one? Oh, there's so many of them. No, the, the, the first answer, I think we must bless that person with a set of these core notes. Do they have a... Uh, we have Inka Kan Ying. Yes. Ika Kan Ying. And they gave you the correct answer? Uh, they gave the correct one. There was another one they gave the correct one. Yeah, here we go. This is it. Inka Ying. Inka Ying. In okay, Ka great stuff. The learner from Inka Ying or the educator from Inka Ying, please um, send me an email and I'll send you a copy of the core notes of all the four main topics. And certainly you can issue it, distribute it, copy it for your learners and they will surely benefit from that. Right, so partnerships. In terms of taxation, which one of those refers to failures and which one refers to success factors? <clears throat> Should we go through the first one? Yeah, please just read through it. Taxes and paperwork can be a burden for the partners. Mm. Mm. Keywords, huh? And that's certainly not a smiley face, eh? Uh, uh, that's not a smiley <laughs> face. The, the business does not pay tax. But the partners do. Aha. Mm. Mm. And, if, the, and the third one? If SARS claim assets due to unpaid taxes, this could cause the business 
to fail. Oh, now that is a giveaway. That's a giveaway. If we were playing soccer, then the score would have been 2-1. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. That is, should be a clue for you. 2-4, I'm not sure whether it's for failures or whether successes are getting two. But okay, you work I it out, please. I have a response from Mavava at Kuseli. All of the above is failure. All of the above. Tax, taxes and paperwork can be a burden for partners. That is certainly a failure factor. It's a failure. Let's see if anybody else The differs. business does not pay tax, but the partners do. For, so for the business, that is not a failure factor. Eh? That is a success factor. And then if SARS claim assets due to unpaid taxes, this could cause the business to, to fail. That is a failure factor. Okay, okay. Let us, let's see if we can go to the next one. <coughs> Management. Aha, let's see quickly. In terms of a partnership, which of those represent failure and which of those represent success fact, a success factor? Partnership. The partners have a personal interest in the business. Aha, uh -huh, now that should already personal give you interest. a clue. I think, wasn't that something about <laughs> a, the sole trade or also something like that? Eh? Personal interest. Personal interest. Yeah. So personal so they interest. they have that fact in common. Absolutely. They may not have all the skills necessary to achieve maximum success. Mm. They may not have all the skills necessary. They're referring to the partners. They yeah. might not have all the skills. Yes. If too many partners are involved in running the business, their disagreements could limit the success of the business. Again, if it was a soccer match, the score would be 2-1. 2-1. <laughs> two one. <laughs> two one. Which one will be 2 and which one will be 1? I got a success, failure, failure. Yes. Okay, that, that one should be right, eh? And then so I have failure, failure, failure. No, no, that mm -mm. one is not correct. But the first one, I'm interested in that first one. Who was the first one? Um, let me see. Who was that now? You know, it's hard going back. <laughs> 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 Once it buzzes and the next person, uh, you know, goes on, it's, it's hard. Okay. Um, Balbawa said, success, failure, failure. Balbawa, please indicate from which school are you? I would like to bless you personally with a set of these core notes. Um, send me an email and I will send you an electronic copy of these core notes. Um, there's Mons Law. Also says success, failure, failure. So even the SMSs are coming through fast and furious, even faster than the WhatsApp messages. Yes, uh, there's some people that's trying to call as well. It's quite okay. difficult <laughs> to take the call. <laughs> yes, it's quite difficult. It's very difficult also to answer and, and to respond to yes. everybody. You know. Dennis, I think we can take all day going through this. Eh? Yes, yes. And, um, but it's important what, what we will do is, um, and these notes are in the corners. So educators, please make an effort to copy these notes, give it to the learners, and let them tell you which of the factors refers to failure factors and which one to success factors. Instead of just giving it to them, um, let them think about it. Farnas alluded earlier to the fact that it requires a lot of critical thinking. Yes. It requires prior knowledge. And I think it's an important way of making sure that your learners get to grips with the content. <clears throat> and also the engagement. You know, there's been studies done and it proves that when learners engage actively with it, with the topic, uh, at least 50% of the lesson will be remembered. This is, you know, w once they leave the classroom, 50% will be wow. remembered. Close cooperation, capacity. Now there we've only got one fact. Very easy, failure or success. <coughs> I wonder who can tell. For a nice while we're waiting for them, there was one question here. Um, Sasanda, Sasanda, thank you for this question. She asked, is it possible for partners to divide their profit equally or do they divide it according to their contribution? Um, Sasanda, yes, you answered your question um, in the second part of that question. They divide it in proportion to their capital contribution. So if you only contributed 10% of the capital, then you will only get 10% of the profit. However, if you've contributed 60%, then you will get 60% of the profits. Now remember, a partnership in terms of capital contribution, it doesn't always have to be money. 
they can also bring their skills. But what needs to be happen? What needs to happen is that skills they bring in needs to be quantified in terms of a interest of the capital. Hope that makes sense. So the answer is they don't divide it equally because all the partners don't make equal contributions. I think it would be unfair towards those who've invested a million rand and compared to somebody who only invested a thousand rand. Mm. And so that's why they don't. However, they then also share the losses in proportion to their capital contribution. Mr. Bombo, we also have, uh, the sister school is also trying to call us. Uh, please, can we have the resources? We really need them. That's from Luquin. Please, can we have the resources? I think we'll give, an an we'll, we'll give them an answer at the end of the, the session. <laughs> we'll give you an answer. But I think it's important that we want to encourage learners to respond, and then we must reward them. Uh, I think that was one of the transactional leadership styles. Remember that one? Where you reward or you punish your, 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 your workforce in terms of their performance. And so if you perform well, if you answer the questions, and even if the answer is not correct, the mere fact that you show interest um, tells <coughs> me that uh, you're really interested in your work and certainly we'll make the, note, the core notes available to them. Why those notes are so important is that, you know, your textbooks, all the notes are, the different topics are scattered and it's not in any chronological order. And so what we've done is we've taken all the core notes, all the topics and put it under one main topic. So when you study um, business operations, you only study the human resource functions and the quality of performance. There's nothing else in this book. And this book, September month is worth 125 marks. That's amazing. <laughs> this book is also worth 125, 125 marks. Put them mm -hmm. together, 250 marks. Two books. And so that's why it's so important for learners to get hold of these books. We don't sell these books. You get it mahala, free of charge. You must study from it. Fernas, we are running out of time. Um, Matthew Goniwe. Uh, Matthew Conewe says, please acknowledge us. Oh, Matthew, Aww. we apologize for <laughs> waiting so long and keeping Aww. you in suspense, but we are indeed glad and we feel privileged that you are watching this session mm. and we do appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching and we, we just wish you the very best for all your, with all your studies. Also um, from uh, Raymond Malaba, he says that the answer that we're looking for is failure. Okay. <laughs> and Fair then enough. we, somebody's also trying to call. Yeah, no, okay. For us, there are so many. Uh, Mr. Momberg, then Azaril, also senior secondary school. Yeah. Um, would also like to have the, the resources. Okay. The corners. I think <laughs> we, we, we'll keep them in suspense until the end. Let us, what we'd like to do now. Now you know what to do now with the, 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 the impact of the form of ownership on the success or failure of the business in terms of those criteria. I think it's important that you need to expand, but please remember, do not combine your failure factors with your success factors. You're only required to answer the success factors or the failure factors. So they won't ask you to do both. So even though you may study both, you can then decide, am I going to include the success factors because I know it better, or am I going to include the failure factors because I know that better? That's a very good point, Mr. Mombo. You know, if they can remember that, and then uh, looking at the essay question, if something like that should come up, it's going to help them greatly. Yes, for now, so you can just briefly look at the essay questions. Now, learners, here yeah, the essay question. And this is very sad when I see learners losing so many marks mm. on essays or even not attempting the essay. They, they just write, leave a blank page. Mm. Now, I want to show you how easy it is. So even if, you, now we don't want you not to know the essay. Please, don't get me wrong. I don't want you not to get to know the essay. You must know the content. You know, the content is so interesting. <coughs> if you make an effort to study it, I promise you, your results will improve. But, so if your argument is like you didn't study this essay, 
And here they ask you an essay on um, Faraz. Do you want to read this question for us quickly? Abe and Chabu are qualified lawyers who completed their studies last year. They wish to start their own business practice. They are considering either a partnership or a personal liability company as a possible form of ownership and need your advice. Wow, they're making the learners very important, eh? Yes, they, they need your advice. The, the learner's advice. <laughs> wow. Okay, so learners, you will always get a scenario in a table like that. Or a, the, the first part of the question will always be a scenario. <clears throat> the scenario. And, and, and so it's important that you read that scenario carefully. So for us, maybe you should just read it again. Abe and Chabu are qualified lawyers who completed their studies last year. They wish to start their own business practice. They are considering either a partnership or a personal liability company as a possible form of ownership and need your advice. Should I proceed to the next part? Absolutely, but just th that part already learners should give you an indication of what your introduction is going to be. Because I can see there from that information they're giving, these two guys, um, they've completed their studies they haven't been into a business yet. They haven't started a business yet. So they are brand new entrepreneurs. Mm. And so that must help you in your formulation of your introduction. Absolutely. Okay, Farnas, the next step. Then make a comparison of these two forms of ownership. Also, explain how capital, management, and legislation can contribute to the success or failure of a personal liability company. Okay, right. So once you've read the scenario or the case study, then you go to the part of the question where they require you to respond to that scenario or case mm -hmm. study. And what you must do here, the very first thing you must do is you must underline the action verbs. What do they require you to do? Because that would then constitute the body of your essay. Now, I talk about an essay, but we don't write an essay like you write it in English or composition. Do you still do that? Creative writing. Yes. In paragraphs. Have, they have the paragraphs created. Now, we actually. don't write essays like that. All your essays, all your facts, you put it in. in a sp it's a very specific structure. Yeah, and, and, and it's in bullet form. Mm. But I said earlier, not bullets, what do you call it? Peace points. Peace points. Okay, uh, let's use peace points. So, you should underline your action verbs. So, what are your action verbs? Let's see. Let's see if they can identify them. Okay, now there is an answer already for them, Farnas. Oh, you've got it there. Do you want to go through that? But before you do that, you know, um, <laughs> break the secondary school in Eastern Cape says, please, please acknowledge us. Um, Breitbach, welcome to the session and thank you for um, watching the session with your teachers and uh, your other friends. I trust that you enjoyed it and you got some value for your time and effort. But welcome. But this uh, Akil, is it Akil who said? Akil Din said, this lesson is very helpful and is thanking you for a nice from the bottom of his heart. I think he's sending about four or five SMSs. Um, wow, Akil. Akil, thank you for that. Thank you very much. There are quite a few learners that ask some questions, but learners, because of time constraints, we won't be able to get to the questions. So, Farnas, what must the learners do now? Once they have identified the action verbs. Okay, before I even get to that, Mr. Momberg, there's a school that really wants to be acknowledged. Ekilu. Ekilo High School. Ekili. Okay. Now, they spelled it wrong first time. Ekili. Yes, Ekili. <laughs> okay, w welcome, Ekili, and to your learners. And please um, send me an email, and I'll send you the core notes also. But Anna, so, learners, you must then firstly make a comparison, underline that word, of these two forms of ownership. Okay, so a comparison between partnership and personal liability. That's the first part. The second part they ask you is Perfect. explain. explain. Our capital, management, and legislation can contribute to the success. Can you see that word? Or, Farnas, we've only got two minutes, so you've got to run through this. So, what do you do? How do you approach it? 
Now, people who mark tell me, learners often forget to write the question number. Now, if you don't write the question number, or if you write the incorrect question number, they will not mark the essay. So that's the first thing you need to know. The second thing you need to know is, you must write the word introduction, and then you must write two facts under introduction in bullet form. Very good. We've given an example, but I could quickly just... Um, and there's an example that you could use. Now, I told you that the scenario gives you an idea of your introduction. Those two guys, they haven't started a business yet. Mm. And so you're telling them that it's important for prospective entrepreneurs to choose appropriate forms of ownership that will suit their needs. So based on the scenario, scenario. you give an introduction. You don't have to go and study your introduction. Mm. Use your general knowledge, but just write two facts under introduction, and you'll get two marks for the introduction, and you'll get one mark for the just writing introduction and having two points below it. Then, the body. You must make a comparison, so it's ideal that you draw a table, and you do a comparison between the name, ownership, name of the owners, liability, management, formation documents. And if, for example, say, the name of the partnership, uh, the Companies Act don't require any no specific, specific uh, name. Specific, yeah. So yeah. you can use any name, as long as it's not offensive. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas the personal, personal liability. liability company, their mm. name must end with the letters I-N-C. Not mm. A-N-C, eh? Inc. Inc. I-N-C. Okay, so that's a kind of comparison that you will be required to do. Then the body, you need to look at the success factors. Now you look at capital and then you have two points under it. And then give an example. Please, in any essay, Very important. you must have two examples mm. and highlight that examples. Underline it, let the marker see that you've got it. Because so, that's part of originality. Absolutely. Can then management, it? two facts, and then legislation also. Now remember, it can be the success factors or it can be the failure factors. Don't write both. And then finally, you end off with a conclusion. Um, operating as a public liability company can be challenging because of the legal requirements. Just by doing that, that information alone will give you about 12 marks. 12 marks and it didn't even touch the body of the essay. Now imagine how many learners just left that section blank. Please don't be one of them. Take heed of this information. 12 marks. For us, oh, Jan, sure. uh, I don't know about you, but the time really flew. It's in, it's, I don't believe it that the session is finished already. There are so many learners still asking us, please acknowledge us. Bishop <laughs> Dermont, Aliwal North, Eastern Cape, they say thanks. They enjoyed it. Matthew Comprehensive School, the session was perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man, man, that is too sweet. Just Very so helpful. Many. Thank you. And there are so many more. Let us, we've come to the end of the telematic sessions for today, but also for Business Studies Grade 12 for this year. I indicated earlier, please, I can send you all the resource materials that you've completed. Uh, I'll also put all the videos on YouTube and you can then look at it at your leisure again. Fernandez, do you want to end off quickly by saying a word or two of encouragement and only one or two words? Um, somebody oh. asked, is in writing an essay, is it allowed to use your views or understanding? Yeah, it's important if they ask you to critically evaluate. Now, when they ask you to evaluate an essay, uh, any, uh, any article, any topic, you must give the advantages and disadvantages. But if they ask you to critically evaluate, you must give the advantages the disadvantages, and then your opinion. There we go. Thank you. Well said. Or if they ask you to justify, tell mm. us why do you say, mm. or recommend, what mm. do you think? Not then delight. certainly yes. you're entitled to provide factual information based on the topic. Parnas, do you want to end off quickly? Learners, thank you so much for this opportunity. It's been absolutely fabulous being here. Please invest in yourself, invest in yourself, so you can be the one um, bearing all the fruits of your efforts at the end of the day. We are mighty proud of you. Please, I hope you've learned plenty today. Take this with you and go well. Parnas, let me thank you also for your contribution. I think it was very interactive and you 
contributed largely to the success of the session. Thank you very much, Lillis. All for me to say is to thank you and your teachers. Wish you the best of luck for your trial exams and the control test and everything of the best for the end of the year. And hopefully next year you will not be watching Business Studies Great to our Telematics. Goodbye. Cheerio.